Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I want to do a project pan check-in. Now for the year of 2019, I did a large project pan for the entire year where I was trying to finish up 18 products. And I've been making some progress. So I have the list of 18 products and I want to tell you the things that I've already cleared out and then we'll jump into some new progress. So the things I've already gone through, I had a pink shampoo and conditioner from Surface and it was like a pink depositing shampoo and conditioner. I haven't had pink hair in a long time and uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't have pink hair anymore because I don't use that shampoo and conditioner. So two products, gone. Um, I also had a Yes to Tomatoes mask pack. It was like a charcoal sheet mask pack. There was a pack of 10 and I think when I started there was probably around five or six and then uh, last check-in, I decluttered them because uh, I went to use one and it was just like dry as a rock, essentially. And so that's another product. So three products gone. Um, another one that I've had gone for a while is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Um, I don't remember when I finished that off. I want to say it was towards the beginning of the year, definitely by spring, I think. So I think like my first check-in, I think that one was done. Um, but other than that, so it was just four products that I have gone through. I think I have three more products that are gone this time around. So the first one is a concealer from Milani. This is a concealer that I've been working on for a little while, and I love this concealer. It's the Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer, and I have it in the shade Fair. And... I, when I started the pan, I didn't have a ton of this left, um, but it was kind of one of those things where I like didn't want to use it because I liked it and I didn't want to finish it. And so I finally finished it. It was a great concealer, great for under the eyes, very like moisturizing, but without being like an oily consistency and without leaving your skin shiny. But it works really good on like textured areas, especially under the eyes where you've got like some texture going on. Um, it works great at covering acne or whatever you need to cover. This is a great concealer and I might consider repurchasing it. I just have a few more to finish up. The other two new things that are, oh shoot, one's not finished. Dang it. We'll start with the one that is finished. This is from Lush. It's the Dream Cream Lotion. It's a hand and body lotion. Uh, I actually just finished this this morning. I've had this in my purse for a little while. It's just like your average body lotion. It's kind of light. Um, I did discover when I was home like last month, my sister was wanting to use this on her baby because her baby has really a sensitive skin. And so we were in a lush and kind of like asking about it. And she was like, oh yeah, it's actually really good for like eczema and dry skin and like different skin conditions where you just have really sensitive skin. I guess it's really good for that. There is like lavender and a few other, yeah, oat milk, rose water. Uh, that are just really nice for sensitive skin and kind of like a soothing ingredient. And so I liked this. Towards the end, I did just have it in my purse because I was like trying to finish it off. Um, but it's it's a nice lotion. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I'm not a huge fan of like lavender scented things. I have it on. It's not like overly lavender -y scented, but it's a little more lavender -y than I personally like but it is a nice lotion. So then the other one that's not done, but so, so close, is the Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And this is essentially exactly what it sounds like. You use it in the shower as like a conditioner, but for your body. So you put it on like lotion and then rinse it off. Um, it is quite rose scented. And I was really into this scent for a long time. This is like the uh, rose, what is this stuff called? Rose jam scent. And I bought the perfume or body spray, whatever, because I was like obsessed with this scent. And then probably like a few weeks after I bought this, I was like, I can't do this scent anymore. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm waiting for a time when that love comes back, but for right now it's not here. And so this has been hard to use but it is really nice. I don't notice like a huge difference in my skin, but it was nice for summer, I will say that. Like whenever I was like 
wearing shorts often uh, and so it it's nice I, I think I probably just have like one use left like it's it's so close I just need to finish it I am making a ton of progress on some other things so this one is from essence and it's the brighten up powder and it's like for under the eyes it's a banana powder but it's really really light the packaging on mine has broken since purchasing it which I feel like is kind of normal with essence products I've had that happen to like a few essence powders that I've had in the past um, not a huge deal I just don't travel with it but I am so stinking close to finishing this like this is probably like a week two weeks maybe it's like to the point where it's like annoying to use and I only really use this for under my eyes so like in the morning when I do my makeup, I put foundation on, concealer, and then I kind of set my under eyes with this, and then kind of like right in this area, so like around my mouth, right on my forehead, to do a little bit of brightening, but also just like really set that in. And then everywhere else I do like a light dusting of some other powder, but uh, this one is really nice and really great for fair skin. Banana powders are like usually a no for me because they're usually just too, too yellowy for my skin tone, and so this one is beautiful. Um, this one I've also made really great progress on. This is the e.l.f. Um, Total Face Palette. I don't remember what it's called. Everything has been rubbed off. You can't even, like, see. You can just see the reflection. You can't even see, like, the e.l.f. on here, really. The back has, like, nothing left on it. But... This palette is beautiful and I have been making some extreme progress. So I use the bronzer pretty consistently. I am wearing this bronzer today. It's a really nice like brownie bronzer. Like I don't know how else to describe it. It's just like brown. I don't know. There's not like a lot of warmth to it, but it's not cool toned either. It's a great color. I use this often and it doesn't have it's not matte, but I wouldn't say there's like a sheen to it either. I don't know, it, I'm describing this horribly. It's beautiful though. I love this palette. We'll just leave that there. Love this palette. Bronzer, making some huge progress on. The blushes, I'm making some progress on. Um, and the highlight, that's where I've been making the most progress on. You can tell I've got a large pan size there. And I, I'm doing, I'm doing good. I've definitely made more progress on this pink blush rather than the coral one. Um, and one thing I will note, and I've had this problem with other e.l.f. blushes and powder products in the past, is I definitely have like some hard pan on here. So you can see there's like a little bit of like texture going on on these products, specifically the blushes more than anything. The bronzer has a little bit highlight. I have not had any issues. Um, and so occasionally I'll go through and like scrape them off. But it just comes back really fast. But I think I think when I bought this, this was $6. I think now this is $8 though. But it is beautiful. Moving on. Let's see. Ooh, two other blushes. One I have made great progress, the other not so much. So the one I've made good progress on is the Tarte Party Blush, and this was like the Sephora birthday gift last year. Um, love this blush, super cute. Again, this is kind of to the point where it's like annoying to use. I could repress this, I don't want to though. It just seems like a large amount of work for this little tiny bit of product. So I'll just keep using this until hopefully it's just about gone. The one I'm not making so hot of progress on is the Bare Minerals Ready Blush and it's in the shade The Indecent Proposal. I am wearing this today. It's kind of like one of those products where I'm like, ah, I gotta remind myself to use it. And I just, I haven't made a lot of progress on this. I've had this for, I got this around Christmas time probably three years ago. It's been, it's been a while. Maybe even four years ago. It's been a long time. 
and I think after this pan I want to like I want to challenge myself to use it because it is a really nice bronzer blush just kidding it's a really nice blush pretty it's definitely different than like any of the colors I have in my collection and so which encourages me to use it more but I just don't reach for it for some reason even though it's in my project pan I just have a hard time reaching for it so probably once I'm done with this pan I'm probably gonna get rid of it but I want to use it as much as I can until then this one is also exciting this is the urban decay highlight it's like afterglow highlighter it's in the shade sin and I just have this little tiny little tiny sample that I got in ipsy years ago but I am making some huge progress on this I think my last check-in I had just hit pan and since then I have expanded on the pan the sides are even like going down but honestly this is probably Maybe not my favorite highlighter right now. It's been my favorite highlighter in the past. But I will say it is one of my favorite highlighters. It's beautiful. It's great for my skin tone. It's definitely like a champagne color, but also has like a little bit more of like a goldy fleck, but also kind of like a pinky. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, I will say the packaging is not my favorite right now. I mean, it's like a little sample size, but it is like falling apart. So I don't close it anymore because it's all just falling apart. And so I should, I don't have like a little magnetic palette, but it would have been good to put this in something like that. But I love this. I did see this at, um, I was at Marshall's the other day and I saw the box for it on clearance and I was like oh my god I'm buying it but it wasn't in there and so I was like you know what I don't need this anyways pass <laughs> moving on I've got a few eye products the first one is the NYX epic ink liner and this has been my go-to liquid liner if I am doing winged liner <laughs> or any liner I just haven't really been doing liner recently um, and so while it's great, I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it recently. Oh, it's still a little swatchy there. Super great liner, though. Um, I will say there is one little, like, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. There's one little, like, hair on it that's kind of, like, gotten out of place. And so it makes it a little bit harder to use because it is a brush tip, not like a felt tip. And so I've tried to like get it out and it's just making like a big mess. And so it's kind of made me not use it as much, but great liner. I just, I need to do a few more winged liner looks. The other one is this brow pencil that I swear is the never ending brow pencil. I have used this and used this and used this and somehow there's still so much product left. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and it's in the shade Universal Taupe. I love this brow pencil. It is what I'm wearing in my brows today. It's great. It's a great color. But for some reason, it just never ends. So on one end, you have a spoolie, which the spoolie isn't my favorite. It's a little fluffy for my personal preference. I usually like something a little bit smaller. But then on this side, you have the brow pencil. Yeah, what the heck? How is there still so much left of this? Um, it's kind of like an oval shape, so it's wider on one side, thinner on the other. And I really, really enjoy this. I don't think there's any way I'm going to finish this by the end of the year. Like, I, I don't understand. I use this almost, like, almost every day. Probably five times a week. I use this so much. And, like, this entire year, I've used it so much. But it is a drier formula, and it is really pigmented so I tend to use a little bit of it and so I think that's probably the issue I'm running into why I still have so much of it around but I'm still trying to finish it by the end of the year we'll see but it's gonna be a close one one product that I still just haven't forced myself to use yet are some lashes these are the Baddington lashes in the shade Monroe and they're 
Beautiful. I've gone to put them on like three or four times this year. My goal is to wear them once. Has not done that yet. I feel like maybe come Christmas time I'll wear them. I keep waiting for like a special occasion. I think I said this in the last one. I keep waiting for like a special occasion like going to a wedding or like going out for like a special date night or something and I just don't ever use them. So I just need to put them on. Maybe I'll do a video about it. Tulip products. This first one is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and it's in the shade Strip. Uh, it's just like a liquid lipstick. It's not, it's their ultra satin formula, so it's not the matte one, but it is definitely a liquid lipstick. Um, it's a nice formula. It's a little thick on the lips, but it is really nice. It lasts all day. Um, mine is definitely starting to separate a little bit. So again, if I don't finish this by the end of the year, it's just gonna go away. But it is really nice. I enjoy this color, especially for fall. Like fall, this is my favorite lip. It doesn't look like the color that's in the bottle for some reason. When it comes on, it's like a way like warmer brown color and it's super flattering. I love it, but it was just a little heavy for summer. Wore it a few times, but it was just a little much. So I am excited this fall to kind of try and finish this off. And then the other one is the Glossier Generation G lipstick in the shade Cake. And I love this lipstick. This is actually what I'm wearing today. It is just so easy. Um, they are like a matte formula, but like it looks blotted. Like it looks like you've been wearing it for a long time and it just faded into like this perfect lip color. And uh, mine actually broke a while ago and I actually just fixed it this morning because I was like, you know what? I just, I need to fix it. I had tried and by breaking, I guess I mean the actual lip lipstick itself came out of the package and like wouldn't go back in and I could use it if I was careful but I couldn't take it anywhere um, and I tried like melting the lipstick back onto the lipstick that was in the bottom and it just didn't work and so what I did this morning is I took the piece out that I had and then scraped the inside out which I lost a lot of lipstick. It's crazy how much lipstick is left over in a lipstick container after you finish it. It's kind of nuts. Um, so I scraped that out and then took a lighter to the stick left and then shoved it back in and I think it's in there. I, I'm pretty confident that it is in there. I'll probably still be a little bit careful but I got it on there a little wonky too. Usually it's angled with like the angle of the container, but I wasn't paying attention and we're already past that point. So just leaving it as is, but it's such a good lip color. It's so easy. You can literally just toss it on and like not think about it. But because it was broken, I wasn't using it very much. So I'm hoping now that it's fixed, use it often and like, all the time. Put it in my purse maybe. We'll see if it hopefully doesn't break again. Uh, put it in my purse and it'll be like kind of my go-to lipstick for the rest of the year because it's fantastic and I haven't been making a lot of progress on it and I still have a lot left. And then finally I have the perfume. I think during my last check-in I was like all right I'm sticking this in my purse this is gonna be my go-to perfume and I didn't. This is the Prada Candy Rollerball. I've had this for a little over two years now and I love this scent. It is great. Summer, it was a little heavy. It was a little much for summer. It's like a very sweet, sweet scent, but without being like childlike. Like it's not sweet candy. It's like sweet and sultry kind of. And so I love it. I need to use it this fall. I'm probably not gonna finish it but it is starting to change scent a little bit. So again, after this year, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Those were all 18 products. I'm excited at the progress I'm making. I think I'm doing pretty good. Coming up on the end of the year, we've got a little over three months left. It's like mid-September now, and we've got October, November, December. So three full months left, and I'm feeling confident about a lot of these products. It's just kinda like I need to force myself to use a lot of them, so. But it's doing great. 
If you've been working on a project this year or recently, or maybe you're just finishing up some products, I'd love to hear about them. Um, my video next is actually going to be an empties video because I have a ton of empties products and I, I love empties. I love finishing products. It is the best feeling ever. So leave yours down below. I'd love to hear about them. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.